Hey there guys, uh, this is Russ and I'm here to demonstrate the pickup setup that I have on this DC-7X. So this guitar has a burled maple top, it's got a swamp ash body, which you can't see through the black finish, but we do have maple mahogany laminate neck, flamed maple fingerboard, and we've got a set of ionizer pickups that are wired up with this five-way switch and a push-push, which I find much more functional than a push-pull, especially in the heat of a song, uh, be it a take in the studio or live. It's much easier to just hit that thing than to try and grip it while holding onto your pick. So to get started, we've got this uh, first position here with your standard humbucking setup series here on the, uh, the bridge. This thing uh, is really great. It's a medium high output pickup, not too much beef to overpower things. It's got enough headroom though uh, that you can really articulate and it still has room for your booster overdrive pedal to make a difference when you're using it in front of a decent amp. Uh, it does not get muddy in the low end, which is great. I have this, this is a 27 inch scale and we've got a 65 string here tuned down to a drop G and it still uh, is plenty tight. Without getting shrill on the top end. Next position, we have just the south coil of the bridge pickup. Now this is, uh, normally when you tap a, a uh, humbucker, it's usually just the north coil. I wanted the south coil to be a little bit closer to the bridge, thin out the bottom end a little bit, helps it cut through, uh, gives it a little more of that Strat single coil vibe in the bridge. So here you can, you can kind of hear that. It's got a little extra bite to it. Next position, we have the inside coils here running in parallel, and uh, that gives it a nice open tone, but it's got quite a lot of spank and a lot of growl to it. So you can hear even in the top end. As opposed to the bridge position. Sounds very, very different there, but also on the bottom end. It's got a real good growl to it. Next position gives us just the north coil of the neck pickup, which I like single coil in the neck position. And this does pretty true to that for a humbucker. Next position, we've got full humbucking mode with the uh, neck pickup in series here. and smooth great for leads it still cuts through and retains the high end but it's still got that lower end beef that uh, gives the notes a nice body now when we switch over to the up position on this we still have this same setting here we've got this bridge humbucker in series mode so doesn't matter what that's doing that's kind of home base there which is really nice this next position, however, instead of being just this coil, 
you've got this coil running in series with the north coil on the neck pickup. So you've still got humbucking action here, but uh, it adds a bit more beef. Here's the regular just split bridge. And here it is with the neck coil. This next middle position here with the switch up has a, a phase cancellation going on which gives you a really thinned out kind of lo-fi effect which I love for intros and breakdowns. Uh, I think it's pretty fun. <laughs> opposed to the spanky and beefy position with the switch down. It's a pretty drastic difference and it's really nice to have that just wired into this and readily available without having to tap dance on something. The next position here has the neck pickup in parallel. So these uh, are not running one into another, they're going through both at the same time and that gives it a slightly different vibe it's a little more open a little bit less aggressive and it's nice for clean tones especially in the studio as opposed to in humbucking Pretty subtle difference, but uh, it's appreciable in the studio. The same kind of goes for the uh, fifth position here with the switch up gives us the south coil of the neck pickup. And that is uh, pretty similar to the north coil. Very minor difference. It makes a slight difference in the studio. If you're looking for just the right part, it's worth a being the two to see which works for you. But it's nice to be able to just hit this switch and go from having humbucking mode to single coil. If you'll excuse the bad playing there, uh, you can kind of appreciate the tonal difference between the two. So, uh, and this is just your standard tone note. that's the way that this is set up. I hope you guys dig it. Um, feel free to message me with any questions.